If you've ever looked at the end of an electric cord and noticed these little holes on the plug, you might have wondered what they were there for. Well, you're not alone because many people have no idea what their actual purpose is. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why the holes are there, why they were put there in the first place, and get rid of some of the myths and wrong information about their actual use. How long have those holes even been there? So let's start with this appliance. This is an Italian Pizzelli iron. It's from the 60s. And at the end of the cord, you can clearly see this thing has the holes. But the 1960s is not old enough. We want to see the first plug, the original invention. And to do that, we've got to go back to 1913 and Harvey Hubble. He patented the first universal plug that you see here. But it doesn't have the holes. But look closely because what it does have are these small indentions. And when you read the patent, these small indents were designed to help hold the plug in place so that it couldn't accidentally pull out. And this design was really good, so good in fact that other people ripped them off and they couldn't copy it exactly. So they modified the plug slightly to use holes instead of the indentions. And a number of companies made these, some had square holes, others had round, but Hubble didn't like any of them so he sued them all. Now he lost in court, but not because they didn't agree that they stole his design. They actually said society in the US needed a standardized plug. So the designs converged and we ended up with the plug style that Hubble made, but with the round holes. Now you would think that's the answer, but unfortunately it's not. And if we fast forward to today, let's take a look at one of our modern outlets. As they take this apart, we're going to look closely at the portion that the plug slides into. Now it slides in just fine, but you'll notice nothing is going into the holes. There's no clip. There's nothing that's taken advantage of holding the plug in. And it's not specific to just this outlet. I've taken apart dozens of them and I've never found any kind of mechanism inside. So then why are we still putting the holes in place if we're not actually using them? But you might have heard other reasons for the hole's existence, the first of which is they're there to provide a lockout. This could give some type of electrical safety or prevent someone using a device that wasn't supposed to. But we know that's not correct because electric lockout tags would not be seen until the late 1950s. Another popular myth is that the small amount of material from those holes could be used to support the war effort. But those holes were in existence in early 1900s where we were burning things like coal. We definitely weren't thinking about saving metal and it was years before World War II. And what about standards? There's got to be some type of a guideline about what a plug should or shouldn't have. And there actually is. One organization, ANSI, puts out the guidelines and they do actually say that the holes are optional. So now I'm really confused because we know that almost a hundred years ago they actually used the holes and they were a critical part of the design. And even the standards say that we don't have to have them at all. So why do we still put them in? And the answer is actually easy because for a company, they're not going to make any more money if they start filling those holes in and customers actually expect to see them. Now you might not be looking for them when you're buying something, but it's very obvious when they're missing. And without a benefit to the company or the customer, they're not going to change a design that's been around for almost a hundred years. So hopefully this video gave you some good information and got you to think about a topic that you may never have considered before. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos coming up.